Welcome back. Let's talk about predicting uh, the winner between Tampa Bay and Toronto again in the first round of the playoffs. I'm going to throw some stats at your face. Um, I'm sort of going to bounce some ideas off myself, really, and uh, we're going to try and figure this out together. Um, Toronto obviously finished uh, second in the Atlantic, Tampa Bay third. 11 points separating these two teams at the end, um, which is a bit surprising because I remember not long ago, it seems like there was only a two-point spread between the two clubs. And things changed um, quite a bit for these two teams around from about February 1st on, I want to say. It was more about Tampa stumbling than necessarily Toronto being amazing or anything. Anyway, so Toronto finishes fifth in the NHL, Tampa 13th. Goals four. Toronto uh, is ninth in the league. Tampa's eighth um, with only two more than the Leafs. Goals against. This is where there's a quite a disparity. Uh, Toronto finishes in seventh. Tampa in 14th. That's why everybody keeps on saying, well, this year Toronto should be better on paper. Paper. Well, I'm reading off a of paper. That's one. Um, special teams. Toronto finished second. Tampa Bay third on the power play. The penalty kill. Toronto finishes 12th. Tampa 15th. Penalty minutes. I'm surprised the Bolts didn't come in first in this category. They were third. Toronto was 19th. Although I think uh, they probably would have finished, you know, 28th or something if it wasn't for the addition of Luke Shen and McCabe and Achari and, and of course, Bunting, depending on you know how he felt any between any period or any minute of any game, face-off win percentage. Leafs have got this one too. They're fourth in the league. Tampa Bay's eleventh. Um, they just Achari's good at face-offs. Matthew is. Tavares is. Lafferty is. Kerfoot, I think, is half decent too. They just got a they got a lot of centers who are uh, good at getting the the black thing from the red dot. Blocks. Toronto seventeenth. In the league, Tampa finishes 22nd. Now let's get into the fun stuff. Double-digit goals. So Toronto's got nine players in that category. Austin Matthews and William Nylander lead the way there with 40. Um, Nylander obviously capping that off in the very last game of the season against the Rangers. Tampa Bay's actually got more by one. They've got 10 guys in double digits. Of course, Braden Point, um, had a, I want to say, had a career year in goals of 51 this season, goals from defensemen, all of them. Toronto's got 27, uh, Tampa Bay 33. I actually thought Tampa might have more than that. Uh, Toronto, uh, Timothy Lilligren leads the way there with six. And with the Lightning, uh, Sergachev's got 10, Hedman nine. Of course, Sergachev played a lot more on the first power play unit this season. Um, if you remember, um, it feels like 60% of the time at least. So we'll see what they do in the playoffs. Goaltenders, starting with the Leafs and, um, and Samsonov, finished, is it, oh, I can't read my own writing. I think it's 19th in the league with a 919 save percentage in 42 games. Pretty good. And if you talk about goaltenders who played at least 30 games or more, he finishes 6th. Um, Vasilevsky, of course, had a down year for him, finished 26th in the league uh, with a 915 save percentage in 60 games. And if you take out um, everyone who played under 30, uh, me finishes 11th there. Now, the backups. Toronto, is it going to be Wall? Is it going to be Murray? Wall looks amazing, isn't he? He's definitely going to be their backup next season. He played seven games this year with a 9-3-2 save percentage. Finished 7th in the league in that category. Uh, Matt Murray, who's coming off a concussion. Will he be ready for Game 1? I don't know. I think CBS Sports thinks so anyways. He finished 52nd in the league with a 9-0-3 save percentage in 26 games. He actually, he actually looked good 60% of the time in net. He was either unlucky or, or whatever, but... I. I don't think he'll be sticking around next season. <coughs> Excuse me. I think Toronto is either going to trade him, uh, give up a draft pick or something to get rid of him. I think it's going to be Samsonov in wall. Uh, Brian Elliott for Tampa Bay. 
I can't believe he even had a winning record, to be honest with you. He finished 83rd in save percentage with an 891, playing 22 games. Uh, every time I caught a game with Brian Elliott, it seemed like he was getting shelled. I know he had at least one shutout, maybe even two. I'm shocked that that actually um, went down. But yeah, injuries for Tampa. We're only talking about Tanner Janot, really. Everyone else should be back. Janot, they think he might be back by the second game. We'll see how that goes for Toronto. There's a bunch of guys on the injured list, but it says all of them should be back for the first game. Um, there might be an exception here with uh, McMahon, who um, was a, was sort of a call up from the Marlies, but he's a good, f um, you know, like 14th, 15th guy, hits a lot, good bottom six plugger. Um, he could be ready for game two or three. Uh, Matt Murray, I mentioned already with a concussion, we'll see if he backs up or if it's Wool. Now, the X factor in this series um, for each team. For the Tabbits, obviously Vasilevsky. You could say the dark horse might be Tanner Jano if he gets into some games because he hasn't had the greatest season with Tampa since he arrived there in the trade from Nashville. For Toronto, I'm kind of split between a few different things here. Uh, the goaltender, right, Samsonov, because he's played five playoff games, but he's only won one of them. But he was a 9-12 last season in the playoffs. Um, and I think this Toronto club's a lot better than Washington was last year. Uh, then there's Ryan O'Reilly, who could easily be this X factor. You could see him playing up um, on the second line, of course, loading up a Tavares and Nylander, uh, or being the third line center. I think that'll happen. The latter will happen on the road um, to help with matchups. Or another X factor could be Toronto's bottom six, which is probably the best I've seen it since like the early 2000s easily easily since the pac Quinn years there um when you know when Belfour was playing for them who do i give the edge to in each category here for the forwards i'm going to give these this edge to toronto palat was a bigger loss than i think anyone really thought for tampa especially it's going to appear in the playoffs guy went to the corners mucked it up a lot fed the talented guys the puck on defense this is a bit of a draw I mean, Tampa's got the best two defensemen really in the series with Sergachev and Hedman, but Toronto's got a much more balanced top six. So, you know, the loss of McDonough and Ruta really hurt uh, Tampa. Just ask their goals against. In net, obviously the, the edge goes to the Bolts there. And coaching, Keefe is a great coach. You know, even if they lose in seven again in the playoffs, I still think he's a pretty good coach. But, I mean... No one is taking Cooper. Any club right now, if they had a chance to hire Cooper in place of whatever fantastic coach they may already have, I think would still take Cooper. Let's put it that way. Uh, maybe even Montgomery in Boston. I think so. I, I Yeah, that's just me. So my prediction. Uh, I, the Leafs are my favorite team. So, you know, th there's that... Uh, and Montreal, against Montreal, I picked them. Against Columbus, I picked them. Tampa was a little harder. I don't remember what I picked last year, but, it, you know. Ah, Toronto just, they, they do. They look better this season. On paper, they got a lot of playoff guys now. Um, I mentioned the bottom six already. I could see players like Lafferty and Achari, you know, scoring greasy goals. They have some much more beefier, nastier defensemen with McCabe and Shen, uh, Giordano as well. Uh, he's been looking really good. He's a steady guy. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it if it's Toronto. But there's a caveat here. They've got to take it in six or less games because otherwise, I'm not going to tell you who I think is going to win otherwise. For those of you who skipped ahead to the end of this video, who do I think is going to win this series? Tampa, because wear and tear means nothing to them. And I think the defense is better than last year. And there's the Kucherov factor, right? And, and Toronto is just, they just turned into bunny rabbits in the playoffs. So yeah, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you happen to be a new subscriber, 
um, hit that subscribe button. I know I haven't been around a lot this past year or so. A thank you to my present subscribers for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be moving soon. So things are chaos in my household right now. Next season is going to be better. I really hope to crank up the videos. And if you want to support me in the channel, you can do that through Buy Me A Coffee, my crowdfunding page. You'll see it in the link down below or on my YouTube channel. Once again, thanks. Enjoy the playoffs. Um, and I hope to talk to you soon. Cheers.